Welcome to the Introduction to Managerial Finance video tutorials. In this section, we are going to continue with financial statement analysis by looking at the liquidity ratios. The liquidity of a business is measured by its ability to satisfy its short-term obligations as they come due. It refers to the ease with which it can pay its bills. The first of the three basic measures of liquidity is the net working capital. Although not actually a ratio, it is a common measure of the business's overall liquidity. It is calculated by deducting the current liabilities from current assets. In our example, we take the current assets of 1.6 million minus the current liabilities of 1.2 million to get a net working capital of 400,000. This figure is not useful for comparing the performance of different companies. However, it is useful for internal control. Often a contract under which long-term debt is incurred specifically states a minimum level of networking capital that the firm must maintain. This protects the creditors by forcing the firm to maintain sufficient operating liquidity. We then have the current ratio as another measure of liquidity. It is calculated by dividing the current assets by the company's current liabilities. In this example, we have 1.6 million worth of current assets divided by the 1.2 million of current liabilities. This gives us a current ratio of 1.33. This means that for every dollar of current liabilities, we have 1.33 current assets. A current ratio of 2.0 is occasionally cited as acceptable. However, a value's acceptability depends on the industry in which the company operates. The final liquidity ratio is the quick ratio. It's also called the asset test ratio. It is similar to the current ratio, except that it excludes inventory, which is generally the least liquid current assets. By eliminating inventory from the ratio, you remove the risk of the inventory not being sold or being sold on credit, which would hurt your liquidity. In our example, we would deduct the inventory of 600,000 from the current assets of 1.6 million. That gives us an answer of 1 million, which we divide by the 1.2 million of current liabilities. This means the quick ratio is equal to 0 0.83. This is a good measure of liquidity risk, as we can clearly see that if we do not sell our inventory or sell it on credit, we will only have 83 cents in current assets to cover every dollar of current liabilities. <music>